Thanks for taking the time to, to join us today. Um, we're going to be discussing something we're really excited to, to launch, and that's our storefront feature. Um, this will, just for context, this isn't live in your platforms yet, but it will be so uh, first thing in the morning, Arizona time. So let's call it a little under 24 hours from now. This will be live for everyone, but we wanted to take some time, walk you guys through this, um, show show what the heck it is. And I'm actually going to take some time and screen share and uh, and actually give you guys a, a little bit of a feature demo, let's call it. So um, before we get rolling, I, I want to make it clear to always get this question with business suite features. Um, you have to be an owner or a super admin to access. So an owner of the account or a super admin to access. So to give coaches inside of your organization super admin access, just click coaches, click the three dots next to the coach's name, and then change their uh, change their role to super admin if you want them to have access to this feature when it's live. And then, of course, you have to be connected to Stripe to sell products online. So must be an owner or super admin, and you must be connected to Stripe to sell products online. All right, why the heck are we having this webinar? Um, okay, so the the things that I wanna walk through today, so I know this is scheduled for 30 minutes, but we're going to, on the back end, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go an hour here today, or we have an hour to take questions and so on and so forth. Uh, last month, it was, it was a little bit quick and uh, we wish we had a few more minutes there. So first I'm gonna walk through features. So I just wanna give everyone context and let you know what features the storefront includes and what the heck this thing is. Secondly, I'm going to screen share, like I said, and just give you a, a complete uh, product demo or a walkthrough to set up the storefront. Um, keep in mind that in the, so we have a full tutorial, it's already in the help center. So if you go to the help center and you go to storefront slash business suite, um, I think it's called um, how do I set up or how do I create my storefront? Um, I think it's about a 15 minute full walkthrough uh, creating a live storefront, but we're going to do that again today on today's call, um, just in case you guys have questions on, on that process. And then finally, we're going to we're going to take uh, take a little bit of time on the back end to allow for some discussion and some Q&A. All right. So let's get into it. So we have two different storefront types. Um, so type number one is an organization storefront and type number two is a coach storefront. So you can use, you can choose, well, you can choose one or the other, or you can use both. And that'll make a lot more sense as we walk through uh, the, and how those two storefronts connect. Uh, look at the organization storefront as the hub of your business. Okay. Uh, look at the coach storefront as where you can promote yourself as an individual coach or one of your coaches as an individual coach. You can link coach storefronts to the organization storefront to allow clients to view a single coach's offering or for the coach to promote themselves without having to send leads to the organization stand um, to the organization storefront. So if you have you know five coaches and, and you want those coaches to go out and, and get referrals and those coaches want to be very narrow and say, hey, I want you to work with me, not with other coaches in my organization, they would just link them to their coach storefront, not the organization storefront. Not that you have to use it that way, but that is just an option. Also keep in mind that you can only have one live organization storefront, but as many coach storefronts as you'd like. Okay, so we're going to walk through these these features and they're going to make a lot more sense as I dig in and actually show you and give you a product demo of what it is. I just want to make sure everyone has context as to what's inside of this thing before we do that. So storefront types, we have the organization and we have the coach storefront. All right, we also have the ability to upload or choose between uploading images or videos for our storefront headers and about sections. So if I go back to this this is a header so this could be a header image like it is on the screen or i can make that a video as well and then what you're seeing on this screen is the about section so you'll see a image an image over here and a video over here um, so we'll walk through this like i said when we go through the product demo but uh, let's talk about some best practices so best practice for the banner is a horizontal orientation with a right alignment so I'll go back here and we'd want a right alignment because there's text that is populated to the left. OK, 
Okay. So just think about, and as you build these storefronts out, you'll be able to, you know, go to the live links and look at what you're doing and make adjustments from there. But best practice, horizontal orientation and right alignment. So the photo being right aligned. Best practice for the about section uh, is just simply a square and high quality image or video. Okay, so ensure that you're not using massive file sizes. And again, we'll hit this as we walk through, but don't use massive file sizes. You can, uh, but it's just going to slow down load times when you have leads going to your pages. All right, next we have products. So this, this is the point of this feature. Uh, the point of this feature is so you can sell your products online. Um, so we'll walk through here um, visually how, to, how that looks and how that user experience is. So on the back end, uh, you're choosing products, you're populating those products into your storefronts. Um, and then on the client side, you're showing the products that you're offering. So you can see on the screen, you see in-person coaching, consultations, and programs. You're showing the products that you're offering. The client chooses the product. They check out, so they pay for that product. And you're seeing that in the image on the right there. And then once your client or your potential client checks out, the CoachRx client account is created. A welcome email is sent to that client. And a notification email is sent to you as the organization owner. Okay, so a very clean and concise uh, process from viewing the product to purchasing the product, checking out, getting notifications on the back end, and then you can set you can set your flow and however you want that to work on your side as the organization owner. All right, next we have coaches. So keep in mind that this feature or or this piece of the storefront is only relative for the organization pages for obvious reasons. So if you're if you have a specific coach storefront, um, you're just promoting yourself as a coach or one of your coaches. Um, it's going to be a hero hero image in the banner and then it's going to be all about that coach. It's a little bit different from an organization standpoint. You're talking about you as the business, you're talking about what you do as a business and then you're displaying your coaches in this section. So just bear in mind that this is only relevant for an organization storefront, not a specific coach storefront. So here you'll have the coach name, you'll have uh, read more. So you'll have bios, uh, your bios right there for the coach. And then you'll have the ability to link off to the individual coach storefront. Okay. I know I've said it 15 times, but that'll make more sense when we go in and we, and we actually demo the thing and we show you the differences between a coach storefront and a, uh, and an organization storefront. All right, moving on down the page, we now have FAQs and testimonials. Um, so this is pretty, pretty clear, clear cut, right? Like you put in the question and the answer, it's a nice clean drop down. Uh, you can throw in as many FAQs. FAQs as possible. We display the first three and then there will be a show more button if you have 15 FAQs there just so it's not crowding up that page. And then uh, it's very beneficial to show the good things that you're doing with the clients that you're working with or the clients that you have worked with. So you do have the ability to upload client testimonials. So client image, their actual testimonial, and then the client's name as well. All right, this one's going to be challenging for me to hype up, but we have it. Uh, it is a contact footer. Um, so pretty, pretty, pretty clear, right? Like it's uh, the, the header image is brought down and it's uh, displayed as the footer image. You have the ability to add a tagline in the middle. You can see here for our organization, I, I should have mentioned this, but we're using OPEX gyms as a, as a gym or an organization. Uh, so we have results, relationships, and fun. And then we have our address and email. And then we have our phone number, um, our website, and then our social media links. So that is the footer. And then finally, um, this is not going to be displayed on the page, but it's such a big feature that we released about a month ago, and we haven't we haven't really uh, we haven't really talked too much about it because we wanted the storefront to release first before we really leaned into um, program storefronts, and we're going to do that today. Um, so it's worth mentioning that you can create 
uh, specific program storefronts as a product. And again, we'll get into how the heck you do that, but the workflow to create the ability to check out, um, well, let's just call it this, you're building programs that you're selling to the public. Okay, so those could be live programs. So a program that someone is following on a day-by-day -day basis, or it could just be a standard program. So let's just call it like an eight-week program. You're just selling for $50 and you're just selling that at volume. So you do have the ability to do that. The workflow is, so you're going to back out of the business suite. You're going go to go to the program section and you're going to create a live or standard program. Once you create that program, so you build in the Monday through Sundays and A, Bs and Cs, you're going to back out. You're going to go back to your business suite. You're going to create a product. So for what you're seeing here, this is called the Assault Bike Improvement Program. So I would create this Assault Bike Improvement Program. I would link that product to my program that that'll make more sense when you go into product creation in the business suite there's a drop down that says connect to program question mark i would do that there i would connect it to this specific program and then i would create my pricing plans for that program so if it's a subscription program cool i can do that if it's one time i can do that if it's uh chunked out where it's a live program that i'm selling at an annual basis i can do that um, you can, you can, you can build out as many pricing plans as you want for your program. So after I build the product in the business suite, I'm going to back out, go back to the program. And in the program section, I'm going to go to settings, and then I'm going to create my sales page and set that as live. Okay. When you choose programs to be visible as a product in your organization or your coach storefront, it's going to automatically pull in those programs. And I'll walk you guys through that here in a minute. So now let's let's do that now. So I'm going to go into CoachRx and I'm going to walk you through exactly how the heck to create these storefronts. So bear with me. All right, so this isn't live for you yet, but it will be tomorrow. Um, you're going to click Business Suite. And then in the left column here, you'll have a new tab that says storefront. You'll go ahead and click on this. And this is going to take you to your storefront homepage. Okay. So from there, this is going to be empty. When you first go in, you can see that we have uh, four storefronts already created. To create a storefront, you're going to simply hit this create button. Okay. And it's going to look like this. So I'm going to take you through a, an OPEX gyms storefront. And then I'm going to kind of go back and forth to show you when you update this, it's going to, it's going to populate this in the, on the actual, in the actual URL. Okay. So if I were to hit create, it would take me to this page and then I would have the ability to choose, do I want this to be an organization storefront or a coach storefront? If I choose a coach storefront, the information needed will change, but we're going to stick with organization for here. And then important to realize, once you click this tab over to public on, that means that that storefront is live. If this is off, it will only be a draft. So you can fill it out, um, update anything, and then you have to click to public to view the actual URL. So this, this, uh, this text field here will not show up until you hit public and save. Okay, So we're going to ignore this URL for now. All right, header, footer, logo. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to choose a header and a footer logo. And then you're going to choose a header and header content. Okay. So this is what that is. Okay. That's the header logo. This is my header image. Remember, I could choose a video to put here as well. And then this is my header and header content. Okay. So a lot jumbled inside of this one little piece here. So we have header, footer, logo header image or video. And then this is the actual header as well as the header content. So you can see I plugged all that in and it shoots this up. Okay, moving on down, we have the about section. So in the about section, we're gonna go through the same process. We're gonna choose an about image. Then we're going to go about content. And then I'm going to mention this every time we have the option to go image or video. You could also embed a video if you want that instead of that image. And then this is what that looks like here. So about image and then about content. If I would have made this a video, it would just have a, pl a play icon here and I would hit that and it would play. 
we're going to ignore this what we offer because you don't actually create products or set products from this page. We'll walk through that in a second after we complete this page. All right, now I'm going to go down to the coaches section. So you'll notice we have coach name, you have page link. I'll talk about that one in a second too. And then we have coach image as well as coach bio. Okay, so that's all populated here. So we have James Fitzgerald, his bio. I can click that to read more. And then his image, of course. Okay, so if I do have a coach storefront, that I've created, I would paste in that storefront link here. And if you look closely, you'll notice that when I hover over myself, because I have a created coach storefront, I get the pointer icon. So I, that hyperlinks out to my specific coach storefront. And then we'll walk through that one in a minute here. Okay, so we have James, myself, Candace, and Georgia looking right through our souls. All right, next we have FAQs. This one's pretty cut and dry as well. So we're we're just plugging in those questions. We're plug, plugging in the answers to those questions. And then we have the ability to add as many FAQ boxes as we want. And then like we walk through in the feature piece, this is how that would look in FAQs. And again, we only show three. If you put in 10, it'll just say view more and then it'll slide down the rest of your FAQs. All right, next we have testimonials. So here again, pretty simple. We have client name, we have the actual testimonial, and then we put the testimonial image. And then that is populated right here. I'm going to go down to the footer. So you'll notice that we don't have a footer image because that is populated from this header footer logo. So whatever we put here, that's going to be our header logo as well as our footer logo. Okay, they're going to plug in all of our contact information and then we can plug that tagline in there. And then that is all populated here. All right, so that's it. That's how we create storefronts. So I just walked through an organization storefront. If I wanted to do the same from a coach's standpoint, so I would save that. I would go back to my storefront. So we have myself here as live. I would go to create, I would go to create, I would select coach, and you'll notice that um, we have a coach drop down. We have this coach drop down because this is what tells the storefront to automatically pull in programs specifically that are connected to that coach if that coach chooses to offer programs in their storefront. So same process. I'm not going to walk through each one of these pieces. The only thing that you'll notice is gone is the coaches, but we still have every other piece here. All right, so remember when we got to what we offer and actually plugging in those products, there was no place to add those when we were creating our storefront page. We did that intentionally because we didn't want that because it's such a robust process. We wanted that to sit separately. So you create your storefront page first. Once your storefront page is created, you're gonna click these three dots to the right and you're going to choose edit product offerings, okay? So when you first go in there, that is going to be empty, okay? So to start to create buckets, so look at these as buckets. So I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna hit create, and then we have type, we have remote coaching, in-person coaching, hybrid training, consultation programs or other, okay? So these are the buckets, okay? Let me show you what I mean by that. So when we go to what we offer, in-person coaching, consultations, programs, if we had other like remote coaching and um, hybrid coaching and all that, that would that would all show here. OK, so these are the buckets. So all I'm doing there is I'm selecting a bucket. I'm writing a description 
I'm hitting create. And then when I hit create, that bucket will show in what we offer. All right, so I created the buckets. I'm gonna go into in-person coaching. So let's say when I when I hit this, I created in-person coaching. And then for the description, I wrote in work with us in person. So now I'm gonna go inside of that and I'm going to click edit products because we have to put products inside of that product offering. Okay, so this is where the business suite comes into play. Okay, so you'll notice that I added one product here already. It's four week trial. And then the descriptions, the description says work with us commitment free. Okay, so if I go to in-person coaching, that's where we'll see four week trial, work with us commitment free. Okay, I'm going to assume everyone's with me on that. Once I create that, now I have to add plans. So this is where your business suite comes into play and the products that you're creating through Stripe come into play. So I have four week trial. Now I have to add plans to that four week trial. So I'm gonna click the three buttons. I'm gonna click edit. And then I can create, I can put in as many plans as I want inside of this. So you'll notice I already have four week trial, work with us commitment free. Here, this is where I'm selecting my products that are inside of my business suite product page through Stripe, okay? So I'm gonna pull this up, I'm gonna select one of my products. So I have Carl Hardwick Remote Coaching. I can select any plan that I want here, okay? So if I want this to be a 12 month plan, I would select that, I would hit add, that's added there, I would save. Once that's saved, when I go here, that will be populated there, okay? So it just works in chunks. You, you add the product offering, we're calling that the bucket. Once you add the bucket, you're adding the products and then you have to add the plans to the products, okay? And then once I do that, and then let's say you're a, you're a potential client, you go here and you're like, yeah, great. I'd love to work with Carl on a four week trial, okay? You select that and then you would be taken to this. So they're just checking out. They're selecting the product, they're entering their first name, their last name, their email address, their card number, they're agreeing to terms, and then they're purchasing. Once they hit purchase, that's when the, that's when the automation comes into play. That's when they are sent the uh, CoachRx welcome email. Their account is automatically created in CoachRx. If they selected one of Carl Hardwick's client or one of Carl Hardwick's plans, uh, speaking about myself in the third person, I apologize. If they purchase one of my products, that client would end up under me inside of my CoachRx account. They would have that invite. I would get an email saying that that client purchased that product. And then that client would go through that flow of uh, getting all set up in their CoachRx. And now it's up to me to make sure that I send out any consultation links or whatever my flow is uh, and whatever I'm doing on the back end to get that client onboarded. So that is, that's the storefront. So we walked through the features, of course, we walked through the storefront homepage. We walked through how to create those storefronts. Um, I made it clear that you can only have one live organization storefront. You can have as many live coach storefronts as you want. And then we walk through how to create those organization and coach storefronts, as well as adding products and services to those. Uh, keep in mind, well, don't keep in mind, you're hearing it for the first time. Um, the way that I walk through adding products to that organization storefront, it's going to be the exact same process to my that I would walk through with my individual coach storefront. And that is it. And a little under 30 minutes. Let's spend some time and field some questions. Any questions? Ah, uh, yes. Can we see an example of your page live for a coach? Absolutely. Let me pull that up.
just keep dropping those questions in. All right, so this is an example of a coach page. So we have about what I offer, FAQs, testimonials, and contacts. So I'll just kind of click through programs um, because I have one dummy program that, that we built uh, just to show on this webinar, and it's an assault bike improvement program. So because that program was created by me, that's going to, and I chose to offer programs on my storefront, that's going to show on my storefront. When I go to select, it's going to take me to that checkout page for the programs. So this, I know I mentioned it before, but this storefront or this sales page is a little different than the ones that we walk through. And this one is created through the program section. Um, you can go through the, you can go to the help center, just search programs. How do I build my sales page? And we have a, I think it's a 12 minute full tutorial on how to create this. Um, but it would take me through, through that way. All right, um, Henrik, right now we only have the default color scheme. That's something that we will look at in the future as well as the custom URL. So right now, URL is, the URL is a CoachRx URL. Uh, we'll look into custom URLs. Just think about use cases though and how you would use this. We're imagining that you're going to either link off from an already existing website. So just embed this link inside of your already existing website. Or if you're selling products through social media or whatever the case is, uh, you'd put it like in your LinkedIn profile or whatever the kids are calling it these days and you would just link right off to this URL. <laughs> well, like I promise I didn't, I didn't put that in. <clears throat> Daniel. Awesome. Yeah, that's kind of the that's kind of the goal with this, Daniel. It's like, you know, we wanted to build something that and this isn't the best marketing option. Uh, we get that. Um, the the idea was for this to to be a very clean and succinct checkout process. That's why we're calling it storefronts. But um we do we do imagine a lot of coaches are going to get rid of their websites and just use this and uh, go through that, uh, use, utilize the about section, utilize the ability to upload videos or embed videos and uh, allow clients to check out with products and services and programs straight from there. All right, Alex, if we create a 16 week program for X, a client who purchases, will that then become generated as a client and count toward client? Yes. So any client that comes in, they will be counted as a client. Is there a way to disable for someone to purchase on their own and to have it set so purchases are done through coach? Um, yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't put payment, you wouldn't connect your plans to the page. You can set a page live without having checkout options. So you can actually, you know, say you're selling your product and just say, you know, uh, reach out to um, x and x at gmail.com uh, for more information. Blake, is this included or is this extra with the current price? Come on, Blake. It's included, man. We're all about value. This is included. Yeah, that was the goal there, Henrik. Um, very clean, as easy to use as, as possible. Obviously, when you when you have a, a back end admin section that's populating this thing that you want to look very clean and concise on the front end, you run into challenges building that out. Um, I think for a first pass, our team did a pretty good job making this uh, making this clean and concise.
Austin. Candace, maybe you can answer that question in the chat box, Austin's question. If you don't mind. <laughs> Great question, Daniel. So Daniel asked, the onus is on the coach to share the link and to get exposure to the storefront. Uh, people won't be able to do a Google search for remote trainer and find your storefront, correct? Um, that is correct. That is correct. But we, uh, we, have, some, we have some cool things in the works um, in terms of finding a coach and uh, us being able to platform coaches that are that are that are inside of CoachRx and specifically using storefronts, so that'll that's that's next on the on the list in terms of what we're looking at doing um, as an expansion of this project. Jody, correct. So you create an organization storefront and make it public, which creates the URL, and then they shop. Then they get invited to CoachRx app once purchase is made. Yes, that is correct. So on the back end, Jody, um, we just put this in four storefronts. But on the back end, uh, when you create products, there's a tick mark that says create automatically create a CoachRx client account upon purchase. As long as that is checked then that workflow happens. If you uncheck that for a product, let's say you're selling a t-shirt in-house, you don't want to create, um, you don't want to create CoachRx accounts by sell with selling like protein or, or t-shirts, you can uncheck that and uh, it won't be, it won't be created. By default, every product is checked. So if you already have existing products and you don't want it to do so, go back in and, and uncheck that box. Anything else, guys? Any other questions? Some good ones. Keep it rolling. We have time. Thanks, Henrik. We appreciate it. Yeah, we'll we'll look into custom URLs at this point. We don't have the ability to do that, but I don't think that'd be too challenging for us to do. In the meantime, there's there's a lot of ways to work around uh, URL usage. Um, so with your example, um, linking it on a flyer, for example, I would I would use a QR code. Um, so I would I would create just go to just Google create free QR codes. And I would just link this URL to a QR code if I was going to put it on a post-it or if I was going to put that on a flyer. Um, that's just what a lot of people are doing right now. I don't think many people love the idea of plugging in URLs anyway. Um, so I go QR code there. And then digitally, um, there's, especially on Google, you can create, you know, go to our website or whatever, and then link the URL in the back end. Because um, even if we had the customizable URLs, it's becoming less best practice to share your URL. Um, now it's like have a clear, concise CTA and then link that URL to that CTA. I hope that makes sense. Uh, Andrew, in the future, will it be able to create a super admin account that is also that is not also a coaching account? Uh, just keep in mind, you can create as many coaching accounts as possible, and you're not you're not charged for those. Um, 
So even for someone that's not a coach, just go ahead and create them a coach or a coach account and then make that coach account a super admin. We thought about it and it was just like the, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze to allow that feature uh, because we're not charging people to create coach accounts. And we, we put it in the um, programs tutorial as well. Um, because since like, let's say I was selling that 10 minute assault bike improvement, um, that, that program, um, I probably wouldn't want, if I'm selling 200 of those, I don't want 200 people inside of my coach account. So what I would even do for that is I would create an assault bike improvement coach account, and I would connect that program to that coach account. So all of those clients are just dropped into that coach account and not into mine. So there's a lot of there's a lot of work around that you can do with coach accounts. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, call to action. Thanks, Daniel. There's also some cool stuff you can do because um, <laughs> Trust me, we, we, we threw it around. Like, do we allow the ability to create custom landing pages with this idea? And we're like, let's pump our brakes one step at a time. But there's some cool things that you can do with coach accounts or coach landing pages or storefronts as well. Um, you know, since you can create as many coach storefronts as you want, you can use that feature and create, like if you're running specials or whatever the case is, you can create unique storefront pages um, that you're only using for an amount of time if you don't want to, if you don't want to change your organizational storefront page. So there's some cool stuff you can do even with that idea. All right, I think we will, I think we'll wrap it up there then. Um, got through that quicker than than anticipated, which is, a, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing, but we appreciate you guys being on. Um, if you have any additional questions on Storefront, um, just email us support at opexfit.com or use that uh, support pop-up in the bottom right. It is not a chat bot. The support pop-up in the bottom right um, ask us any questions regarding CoachRx there once you're already in the platform. If you're not in CoachRx, which I'm assuming most of you are, um, but if you're not in CoachRx, um, get started with the trial. Inside of that trial, you can coach clients, as many clients as you want inside of it. You can connect to Stripe. You can build your storefronts all before paying us a penny just to see if you if you like it and if the flow works for you. Um, so if you don't have if you don't have a CoachRx account, just go to CoachRx dot app and set up your free trial there. All right, we, we have a few more questions coming in. Um, yeah, good question on the, so getting long and short-term and daily planning inside of programs. Uh, yes, we, we will do that. Um, I don't have a timeline for you though, um, but that will come. It is something that we've discussed. Yeah. I mean, good point, Jody. Once you guys get in there and you start playing around with it, you'll have some more ideas, some more thoughts and some more questions. Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking there as, as on the individual design for any client. So having the same process for programming with general programs and individuals, is it a possible feature to include? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what the feature is. So if you want to elaborate on that, that'd be helpful. Oh, got it. 
Cool. Yeah, good question, Candice. Um, who will start, who will use this feature right away? If you're in CoachRx right now, who will use this feature right away? Awesome. If not, if not, why? Um, if you guys are kind of on the fence, why would you not start using this right away? Awesome. Yeah, good stuff, Austin. Hey, it'll save you a lot of money too. Money and uh, heartache sometimes with uh, with website platforms. They're kind of a, a pain in the butt. Cool. Yeah, even on Wix, um, you know, maybe it's maybe it's a section. Maybe you have a section on your Wix website that says, uh, you know, work with us or work with me. And when you link out uh, to that, um, now you can just you can link out to your storefront URL. So we did want to build it in a way that people didn't have to get out of their websites. Um, so you can just link to the storefront through your existing website if you guys are already in a website that you're happy with. Because the goal here wasn't to um, create a uh, very robust website solution. And that wasn't the goal because we don't think a lot of coaches need a robust website solution. Ah, there's Candace. Oh, this is from, you guys aren't seeing Candace's uh, responses, so I'm going to that looks like Georgia just pasted that in. Thanks, Georgia. So that's uh, that's regarding the question on high quality images, Austin. All right, um, I'll give it another 60 seconds for more questions to come in. If no other questions come in, we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Awesome. All right, we'll wrap it up there. We will let you guys know first when this thing is live, uh, but it'll be live in the morning uh, for us here in Arizona. So we appreciate everything. Uh, again, reach out, support at OPEX Fit, or use that support bot in the bottom right of CoachRx and just let us know if you have any other questions. Thank you.